Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing to episode one of season three of the, oh my god, that would happen, of the irregular of Magic High School. Okay, so of course, besides this and so many others, this is like, duh, the most anticipated, because, I mean, with the way season two ended was good, um, and then, of course, the OVA episode that we got, and then plus the spinoff show, like, yeah it's been good for this you know show and i really just want to know what the fuck is gonna happen next because you know yeah <laughs> but regardless like i i'm just so excited to be back into this series with these characters and just have little cute little moments with them so yes let's just go to get started in three two one The fact is that best girl is being the narrator this time. Like, 10 out of 10. You're gonna see the bitch of your aunt today. I don't wanna see her. Fuck her. I mean, yeah, but still, like... So you just, you, you, okay. Did they change his voice? Okay. I 
so. But, I mean, it's obvious you like them. He's pretty, but he looks hella sus. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, yeah, he just got it. Duh. Yeah, I don't like him. Mm -mm. <laughs> Same thing with Yuki. <laughs> Right, but he seems suspicious though. So I mean, you gotta like establish dominance in a weird way. Right, he seems like an ass. Well, yeah.
you're relaxed, but you're not too, too relaxed, you know? <laughs> well, that's because she's in regular clothes now. <laughs> Yeah, you want to answer that? You want to say old? <laughs> oh, once again, she's still best girl. You sure about that? <laughs> right, get your mind out of the gutter. You want to say something? I know. She's perfect. The number one. <laughs> uh, you got your leg in it. Not in the way that she wants. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Mm 
No, it definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right? You've been like, we need to have a long, long ass talk. <laughs> because! Oh. No, my baby, no! <laughs> Clearly, she's super upset. Oh. figures. Then it would be just, you know, simple for them to just take and watch a race of sisters, right? Mm hmm You pick two and three. Something tells me both of you might be joining. <laughs> See? Oh my god. Come on! D uh, of course, because she gets to be around you, me again. <laughs> And you're really good. <laughs> the daggers in her eyes, like, damn, girl. <laughs> ah, yes, these two. Girl, she kicking ass and taking names like she not. Damn! Girl is not playing around. Oh my god. <laughs>
Oh, he's pretty. I can't fall in love with him, another man again. Like, god dang. You show me this pretty ass anime man. <laughs> I also love the fact that Lisa is coming back to sing this opening for this season because it just feels like full circle because, duh, season one and then coming back for season three. Okay, this first episode was really good. It sets the tone. I mean, season two had dark moments, but I felt like with this season we're going to get into a, like, this whole season might be even more darker than season one was. I mean, season two was. Now, him, the the one, the the cute little one who was, at first, he was, we all thought our number one was going to be joining the student council president, but he opted and turned turn them down and such. Okay, he gives me feels to freaking, um, Sakura's sister from the Fate series, and I fucking hate him. I really do. He is my least favorite character in that series. Anytime when he dies, that that's like the happiest moment for me. But I mean, like, just because he looks at him, I, I don't know. I just got weird vibe from him. He could be a really cool guy, but at the same time, because it's only the first freaking episode, and he just wants to also establish dominance as well. He's like, oh yeah, look at me, look at me. Mm, number one, yes. Yeah, really. Like, Sit your ass down. Like, oh my god. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like him. I don't like him. I, I hope we do not have to see him in every freaking episode, but because he is a brand new character and such, we are probably going to see him in every single freaking episode. Um, I do love how the episode technically starts, you know, number one, Miyuki narrating this time because no normally it's always Tatsuya and such. But the moment that they were showing, they had to go see their aunt again. And so it makes me wonder if we're going to see that conversation um, between her and her aunt later on in this season and such. Because Incuring Minds wants to know what the heck happened that day and what were they talking about that led up to, you know, literally, oh, here's one moment and then boom, we're going back to school and such. It's just, it's so funny, like, literally when you look at season one, season two, you're like, damn. That was just all, like, in a span of a year, and now we're in, like, because it was so funny to me, getting at the end of season two, and I'm like, damn, we already in our second year? Like, it felt like two years ago, but it was like a fucking year! Shut up! That damn thing wasn't supposed to go off till tomorrow. But no, no. I, I think this is going to be really interesting for the season. It makes me wonder if um the blonde-haired girl from season two, if she's possibly going to make a reappearance in this. I'm, I'm guessing signs are pointing to no. I mean, because, mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll say, like, you know, it possibility. The possibilities are endless. Like, yes, she could show up and, like, just like a FaceTime call or whatever. Um, but I don't think she's physically going to be coming back to the school. Who, who freaking knows? But we just have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode one of season three of the Irregular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every time I join the Magic one. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.